Christmas traditions in Puerto Rico are pretty fun. Um, I guess it could be a little different from other places. We're pretty loud people. This is especially um, a really nice time in, in the island. So one of the things we have is they're called parrandas. So it's a type of Christmas carol, but it's unannounced and you go at a very late time. So you, the idea is you get with friends or, you know, or family members and you bring your instruments. Um, regularly we use um, the guitar and the cuatro, which is a special guitar that it's from here and other percussion instruments that are from the Caribbean that just make a lot of noise. We have different songs, you know, for the Christmas time. And you're supposed to wake up these people at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. and just surprise them. And what is expected is that they open the door, obviously that they wake up, they open the door and then you just sing for a little while in their house. They're supposed to give you some food. So you always have to have your house ready for Christmas time because you never know when you might get a parranda. It's really fun. So that's one of the things we do here in Puerto Rico. Uh, another thing we do nine days before Christmas time, uh, it, we do mass at 5.30 in the morning. Some people do it at 5 a.m. And the music is different. It's very traditional. It's very Christmas loud music, not common for maybe a regular Sunday mass. People bring their instruments to mass and they'll play during you know, when the music's going on. And then after that, we have a really nice breakfast. So uh, my favorite Christmas tradition right now is one that I have with my daughter. Um, every year we decorate the outside of our house. So we're kind of the, the house in the neighborhood that is known for the, the most holiday decorations. So I actually set up a big landscape trailer that I have and flatten it out and we put inflatables all over it and stage a different Christmas scene every year. We wrap the front of my house with way too many lights and wrap all the bushes out front with way too many lights and hang stuff up in a big maple tree that, that blows in the in the wind and the storm. But it's a it's a full day effort for us, but it's uh we, we put on some Christmas music outside and bundle up and spend the day together doing that. It's one of our favorite days in the calendar every year. Um, it's really been, I think about six or seven years now we've been doing it. She's 13 now. So it's a, it's a great thing for us to look forward to. And it's a, it's a great bonding event. So something I look forward to every year. So in my family, this got started when my brother and I were younger, but my grandma would uh, take us out every Christmas uh, to see Christmas lights. We'd uh, all gather in the car and take the evening and just drive around town and look at Christmas lights. So that's one thing that I do now with my, my kids. I have three daughters and my oldest, Layla, she loves to, to look at the Christmas lights. And we go to uh, Christmas at the zoo every year to see the lights and she just loves it. And we also buy uh, Christmas ornaments every year. This is something that my parents started for me and my brother. Uh, we would buy a Christmas ornament every year to, you know, put on a tree. And my mom always said, uh, when you when you uh, grow up and move out, this will help you start your first church. So that's what I'm also doing with, with my girls. The tradition in our household is a 25 days of Christmas. Every morning since our daughter um, was in kindergarten, she would get up in the morning and come down to the tree to find a clue to go on a scavenger hunt and find a little gift. And we did this um, ever since she was in kindergarten because she didn't want to get out of bed because it was cold. And she is in college now and we are still doing this tradition and I don't know that it will ever end but it's just a wonderful memory for them and something they look forward to every year. So the celebration uh, we do at home, uh, uh, it's around the Three Wise King Day, January 6th. Uh, I am originally from Mexico City. So in Mexico City, especially in the city, it's a huge celebration. And uh, what we do is that uh, the day before in January 5th, my kids put their shoes under the tree with some vegetables because the Three Wise King uh, have a, a, an elephant, a camel, and a donkey. So it, the meaning is that the, the, uh, the 
these animals will eat the vegetables while they are waiting for the the gifts that they will uh, the the three wise king will leave under the the tree like uh it's like uh they brought gifts to jesus uh, on january 6th so it's a kind of a meaningful thing so after that day in january 6th in the morning we opened the the gift evening we celebrate the day with a special bread we we have it's called rosca de reyes uh, bread from the king it's called that way the, the the bread and with tamales hot chocolate and it's a uh uh, a very important celebration around the holidays. Well, we have a mischievous elf that comes every year that has created a lot of traditions for us. Um, one of which, um, aside from her um, antics, Christmas antics and wreaking havoc in our house, um, is uh, she brings my girls an ornament every year that usually um, has some sort of special meaning like a place where we might have gone on vacation or maybe a, a movie that we went and saw and everybody loved and um so she brings these special ornaments with their names on it every year and so and this was um, a tradition that i'm passing on from my mom who did that for me um and basically when i was old enough to move out of the house i was given all of my ornaments so that i can have them on my own tree um so that's one of our tr traditions and then the other elf tradition that we do every year is, is she likes to hide candy canes every year and when the girls find all of these candy canes in the house we go and we make peppermint bark every year and that's that's our favorite annual tradition at Christmas time. For the past six years, because um, my son Reese is six, we have been spending the night at my sister's house with her husband and three boys. We bake cookies, we do gingerbread houses, and after everybody goes to sleep, my sister and I stay up until two and three o'clock in the morning wrapping presents because we like to procrastinate and wait until the very last minute. Um, it's really, really great to be able to spend that time with my family that we don't normally get because we're working or we're in school full time. Um, so we just really take that time to appreciate each other and just love each other. It's just, it's my favorite time of the year. It's my favorite tr tradition, just knowing that that's coming. Um, so from my family and from my North Park family to yours, happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad a todos and best wishes for you. Desde la isla de Puerto Rico, Feliz Navidad y Prospero Año Nuevo. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and uh, the best to, to you and yours. Happy Holidays to you and yours. So from our family here at North Park Community Credit Union to you and yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.